Hi, welcome back to another video about printmaking. Uh, my name is Angelica, I'm from the Netherlands and I'm a full-time photographer and illustrator on the side. I actually went to art school for illustration about, well, many, many years ago. But um, I have recently developed a passion for printmaking. I'm usually more of a lino cut or etchings kind of girl, more the analog old school things. But recently I've been diving into research printing and it's a, a technique that I'm really new to. So this is not going to be a tutorial or anything like that. It's just going to be like a little behind the scenes of my process, how I do these things. Um, you know, just if you're curious to see how it works and get like a little bit of an idea how, uh, what it is. About research printing, I have made one uh, last month this is a result print. What is a result print? Well, honestly, I'm not really into uh, technique and that kind of stuff. But it's basically an old copy machine from Japan, and I believe it's it's really old, like from the 50s or so, 60s. But it's been uh, it's been very popular, I think, in the 90s, zeros, that kind of stuff. So it's a bit of an old school copy machine that uses very vibrant colors. It's very similar to silk screening in the sense that you use uh, different layers. So you have to use a layer for every color. Um, so you don't just print one image, you print several images on top of each other. So you have to be very careful how you make your uh, drawing. You can use it in two ways. You can either make something digitally and have that printed from like Photoshop in separate layers or you can just use the copy part of the copy machine because it's still a copy machine. I prefer to use it as a printer so I, I've drawn this in uh, Procreate on the iPad and made several layers in Photoshop and also Procreate and that's what I'm also going to do today. So yeah, let's start. At this point I have no clue yet. I have been inspired by a teeny tiny drawing that I found in my sketchbook from I believe a year ago or so. So <laughs> it's this. Now I only have like a very very vague idea so I'm just gonna take you into the process. So I'm gonna make this a proper drawing in Procreate. So that's what we're gonna do right now. So let's go. So here we have the final drawing and made it in Procreate. As you can see it has many layers and it's already in black and white. Uh, it's in black and white because for result printing you have to send the image in black and white to the printer. And you can draw it in color and make it in black and white in Photoshop. But I just decided to do it this way. I have a lot of layers and every layer has its own name and color. So this result print has three colors, black, pink and green. So now I'm gonna merge them all together. So I have three layers in the end called pink, green, and black. And here you can see how that looks like. So the green layer, pink layer, and black layer all look different. And that's how you can see them lining up. And that's what you want 